So the problem, the issue with Aikido oftentimes, and what I experience myself as well, if there is a violent confrontation, then my mind is packed with ideas of, oh heck, what, what technique am I going to do? What the attacker is going to do? Where, where does my wrist lock come in? And then I would get confused and I would freeze and I would not do anything. Mm -hmm. or, or I would just fall back into some random punch or defense. Spear addresses that. Mm -hmm. You showed me a solution how Aikido and Spear can blend together. Could you show that? Sure. More? So um, the principle we're basing on here is that if we always have a technical approach to something, mm. um, it sometimes falls apart when the, the scenario that you're training for doesn't match a, a live scenario. So mm. uh, we have a more consideration for a tactical approach. So um, again, as an options facilitator, giving you principles and ideas. One of the things that is, is so big in the Spear system and something that we really focus on, if you have no skills whatsoever, we'll give you something you can make use of because at a DNA level, you've all got this inbuilt, this, mm. this desire to stay alive and the, the start or finish mechanism. Um, if you've got skills, we can give you the bridge to access those skills. But if you always have a technical complex motor skill solution to something, it is very difficult to access those skills. And again, the proof of the pudding is, have you ever seen people using these complex train motor skills in live scenarios? It doesn't happen that often. Uh, the way the spear system would address for something, for example, uh, an edge weapon attack. So if we look at something as simple as a threat, Rather than trying to go into here and start applying techniques right. and trying to find uh, a maneuver, mm -hmm. um, accepting the fact that uh, we're going to have an emotional, psychological impact and there's going to be fear involved. If you were threatening me in a mugging type action, once I've in embraced that and accepted the fact that I'm going to have some sort of fearful um, approach, fearful movement, you know, my hands will raise and orientate towards the the general nature, the general general position of the, the weapon here, we're looking at three Cs, clear, control, counter. So clear relates to me moving offline of the weapon, whatever that is, but also moving you offline from that weapon. So it might be that from this position, I just mm. parry away. Mm. It might be that the next time I do that, you know, if, if I'm being held here, maybe all I can manage from there, because if I do this, clearly I'm gonna cut yeah. myself. If I do this, you're gonna see it coming, you'll re attack me. It might be that my shoulder, raises and then I move. Mm. But it's not a technical approach, it's a tactical mm. approach. It could be that if you're holding it towards my stomach and you're grabbing hold of me perhaps, mm. maybe this time it's just pushing it away. Mm. So I move my body away. Mm. All I'm looking at is in some way clearing myself away from that weapon, clearing the weapon away from me mm. and clearing you away if I can. Once I've got to a position where I've cleared that weapon, I'm looking at controlling it, stopping it from being brought back into play by controlling that weapon holding limb. Mm. So using that same example we just did then, if you've grabbed here and you've threatened me in this position, uh, I'm looking at, again, from this position here or, or raising my hands up, mm. feigning fear because it won't be difficult because I, I will be afraid if someone's got to this position, they're threatening me with a real knife. If I've managed to clear it, then I'm controlling. Mm. And that is based on two basic principles, the grip from hell, holding on for dear life here, which mm. shouldn't be difficult because you would. Uh, and elasticity. What that means is, if in this position you were driving towards me, I'd resist. Mm -hmm. And suddenly we find that some of the very basics can be used in complex, mo uh, complex situations uh, with a spear system. So it's just, this is outside 90. Mm. Okay. If you try and pull away, I go with it. I don't resist because if I resist and you pull and I pull, so you pull mm. and I pull, mm. sweaty hands, I pull away. If I've got it here and you pull away and you're stronger than me and you really, really pull, Go with it as much yeah. as I possibly can. If you push, I resist. Mm. Okay. Or potentially, I have the opportunity. If you push, mm. it might be that I know start to look at redirecting. Mm. Now we're starting to get into a pattern of movement you feel comfortable right. with. Right. Practice from different positions. So again, you you you're still trying to mug me. You're trying to rob me. You're threatening me. It's a tool of intimidation. You've not stabbed me yet, so you, you use it a different position, maybe to the neck. And uh, same thing, you know. I respond as I would do normally in a, in a real situation. Then I look at well, what opportunities have I got to clear? And from there, then I'm looking at control, grabbing hold, two hands. Maybe from here, you grab hold because you, you're fighting for a knife too now. And we're, we're fighting each other in this position. Yeah. If you try and bring the knife towards me, I'm not allowing that to get into that position. I'm still resisting. Yeah. If you try and pull it away, I don't want you to pull away. Yeah. I don't want you to give that strength. I use that elasticity principle. Yeah. Only once we've gone past clear and control, we've established some sort of point of domination, yeah. which for us would be either our spear stance, or maybe I've pinned you against a wall. Maybe I've, mm. that's for the benefit of the camera, maybe I've, I've, I've grabbed here and I've, you know, I'm, I'm fighting you here and I'm holding on for dear life. And you know, your other hand's engaged too. Maybe your other hand's grabbing hold and we're, we're both fighting. Once I get here and I'm relatively stable, now I've got an opportunity to you know, emotionally, psychologically control myself to a degree and potentially I'm physically dominating you as much as I'm able to. Mm. Now I can look at starting to apply uh, 
countermeasures, so potentially complex motor skills. So in the spear system, we would focus primarily on the closest weapon, closest target principle. So maybe here, mm. here, mm. Oh, biting, mm. anything that's to hand. Mm. If you have got a complex motor skill set available to you, such as Aikido, for example, maybe, you know, as I'm here, that arm does go quite straight. Mm. Maybe that is a good opportunity to apply a lock. Maybe if, um, if you know, I've managed to knock the arm out of the way and I'm, I'm grabbing, I'm pinning here, mm. maybe as I'm grabbing, Actually, as you go to pull that arm and I feel it bend, maybe then that brings it into a wrist turn or something similar. Right. But the difference now is I'm not desperately trying to find those techniques. Mm. Your pattern of movement will make those opportunities available to me. That's why the spear has given you the bridge to find them. Mm. Now, by all means, practice the maneuvers, practice the complex motor skills. Mm. How you access them in a real fight is a tactical matter, not a technical matter. Mm. So clear control then counter. If you've got nothing, there's always part of your body, a tool close to a part of the assailant's body, a target. You put the two together, you've got a good tactic. So if you apply close to weapon, close to target, then you get the opportunity from Aikido perspective, for example, to lock what's left. But you're not desperately trying to find a complex motor skill. The more skills you have in this arena, the more you practice alive with clear control counter as a tactical facilitator, if you like, an option, you'll start finding the opportunities to apply your locks. You'll feel the locks. It becomes much more alive. Your Aikido then can become um, quite alive and quite practicable. It won't quite look what we'd suggest would be traditional Aikido, but you'd recognize the basic locks.